CEO, CFO, COO. You wanna add CMO in there too, or CTO or anything else? That's a lot of acronyms for all of the different chiefs within a business, all the people who are running the business. I think those are bad titles because they're titles from the corporate world. And really they don't affect an entrepreneur until you get to the size where you need to start bringing people in. And there's the thing, most entrepreneurs think about those titles when they're starting out or living in corporate. And so they come to their startup and they say, I need all of these people when you don't. Or the other side of the coin is you never think of it. You start running your business, you're an entrepreneur, you're a hustler, you're bringing on Jim and you're bringing on Sally and you're bringing on people. And maybe they're kind of fitting those roles, but you never think in terms of those titles. And the truth is you have to do both. These roles, the CEO, the COO, the CFO, role, <laughs> I can't even say it, the CEO, the CFO, the COO role, these are all important roles and you are wearing all the hats when you start. But at a certain point, you need to be able to start giving some of these things away and putting people in the roles who can help you take your business to the next level. I consider it business maturity. You know, when your business has grown up from startup, from being, you know, the, the six or eight year old kid who still needs you to answer all the questions and do everything to being a little bit more mature, you know, your business is now in high school and it has friends, it has its license, it's getting ready to go off to college. You need to be able to push that baby bird out of the nest. <laughs> You like that? You need to be able to push that baby bird out of the nest. You need to start bringing in people who can lead each department like its own little company. And that will help take you to the next level. So of course the natural question is, which one are you and who do you need to hire for? I think it just comes down to your own personal skill sets. If you are the visionary, future thinking type person who wants to be able to help lead sales and marketing, then you're the CEO. But don't just say you're the CEO because you want to be top dog. Like really think about whether that is in fact your skill sets. You can be an entrepreneur or the leader of a company and be a COO and you can bring someone else in to run your company. In fact, most entrepreneurs hit the point where they have to give their company to someone else because they are only capable of taking it so far. And then they will bring in a CEO who can help grow it to another level. And then if they go public, they bring in another CEO because every uh, chief executive officer, every leader is good for a certain window. Maybe you are the startup wizard. And then it gets to the point where you just don't want to spend all your time managing teams and managing shareholders and managing the board and all of these things that a CEO would typically do. The COO is the person again, who's going to be in charge of operations. If, if that's your skill set, if you're like, I don't want to go do sales and marketing and yeah, I'm going to think about the future, but I'm going to think in the future in terms of the type of company we could be, the type of systems we're going to have. Awesome. Go that route. And of course, an accountant and a bookkeeper will, will take you pretty far. But at the end of the day, you need to be able to bring on a controller or a CFO to be able to take care of all the financing. Businesses run into scaling and growing issues when they do not leverage money effectively. You can be super conservative with your funds and you can have all of this cash sitting in the bank account. But at the end of the day, if you are not leveraging what you have, then you are going to run into trouble. If you're always worried about money as the entrepreneur or CEO, then you're going to be into trouble. If you don't have the confidence to be able to make bold investments and bold moves, then you're always going to be in trouble. If you're busy worrying about, hey, did this person get paid or that person get paid? Did, did the check go out and all of these other things? You're going to be in trouble. Listen, I don't think you're going to lead the company and become the CFO. I mean, I don't know entrepreneurs who set out and be like, I can't wait to only run the accounting side of it. But you know, heck, if that's you, celebrate it. If that's the case, then go ahead that route. But chances are you're going to be leaning more onto operations or you're going to be leaning more onto sales, marketing, vision, and other things like that. If you disagree with me, if you think I'm an idiot, if you don't like anything I had to say, be so nice to leave me a comment. And remember, you got to think big, you got to be bold, you got to say yes. Go ahead, right now. Okay.